Didn't want to ride with us then, huh? Big trip that I've got coming up. Make sure I charge my Garmin, make sure I've charged my lights Make sure we get those bars in 10 miles and I'll be more than starving Nothing compares to the thrill, underprepared for the hills I used to get wheels on air, now I put air in my wheels Change that tune, train and cruise, chain's been lewd Pace and move, Strava stats give man a heart attack But then my pace improves, bars and cadence are strong Now my legs up, my cadence are long It's about time we do this, it's the cycling tattooist What is up guys, if you're new here, my name is Thomas Martinez and welcome to the channel and if you're a regular, then welcome back. So you join me on a Sunday morning and we are out for another 100 miler. This week, we've got a few extra people joined in, some of which are local hitters. And uh, well, as you can see, <laughs> it's been blown to bits already. <laughs> oh God. We are literally spread across the road, trying to regroup. So, uh, not a good start, but let's see how we get on. Huh? I'm just gonna be holding you up. Hey, come on. To the moment. That, that, was, that, was, that was just me. It's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, someone's got a bit shirty, have they? Alex's matches. Oh, oh, here he is. Oh. <laughs> How long have you been here for? Hours. <laughs> you didn't want to ride with us then, huh? No, I was just sucking his wheel. Oh, yeah. Right, right, mate. Got in, okay, you're an animal, mate. Yeah. Alright, so we're over halfway now. Well, 53 miles. And, uh,. Ooh, I'm suffering. These boys ain't mucking about today. We've been averaging 21.4 miles an hour so far. Well, that's a little bit spicy for a Sunday social. <laughs> there hasn't been much socializing, let's put it that way. done boys who invited these two jason and colin you absolute animals so this is a public service announcement um just throwing it out there i'm looking for some new riding buddies i wouldn't mind but they made me skip the calf stop they only allowed me enough time to have a quick espresso bye i mean don't get me wrong i'm not ashamed to get dropped but I bloody organised this ride. <laughs> Getting dropped off your own ride. Bloody hell. I knew that was a great idea, getting a flapjack to go. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Best go try catch up with your sad wagon. Check this out. I don't know if this is meant to be good luck or what, but... It never feels like good luck. I don't even know how that's possible, but on two separate occasions, a bird has 
on my shirt. <laughs> How does that even happen? Yeah, I don't feel very lucky. Not on my fresh kit. New kit day. Very fresh. Hello, mate. Quick little uh, bathroom break. Huh? <laughs> Definitely won't be able to see it from here, mate. So one of the things you may have noticed, especially with uh, last week's episode, is I've been going a little bit more rogue with what I'm filming and uh, trying to mix things up. Rather than all of my videos following the same sort of structure, I wanted to start showing a little bit more kind of real life behind the scenes kind of stuff. Now, one of the big things that I've changed is I'm making a conscious effort to not film as much because sometimes with these rides, I'm coming out of them with between two and three hours worth of footage, which <laughs> is pretty shocking. So recently I've been making an effort to put the camera down and not worry about what I'm filming, just film whatever and then worry about it later. Now there is method to my madness. This is all for a bid to get some practice in for a big trip that I've got coming up. Unfortunately, I can't say too much right now. Yeah, it'll have to be a surprise. But anyways, let's just say phase one is learn to film less, be more clever with the editing, and essentially learn how to make videos out of not a lot. There is a bit of a fine art to that. Hey, I'm gonna get, oh, you're all wet. No way! Phase two of the operation. It's a pretty big one. Now for quite a while, I've been knocking out these vlogs and I've been sticking to a pretty regimented one a week on a Sunday, and that's been working. But something I really wanna do is try and push it and do a little bit more. And I know that's something that a lot of you guys have been asking for, so I'm gonna do it. Coming soon, I'm gonna actually attempt to do daily vlogs. Now, I'm gonna shoot for a week. Um, whether or not I can do that, I really don't know, because I do, put way too much effort into these vlogs. I'm not exactly sure when they're gonna start or even if I'm gonna be able to do a week. I might even only manage three days, who knows? But keep your eyes out for them, they're coming soon. Anyways, now I'm off to the beach for a birthday party something I'm not actually that keen on. And contrary to what you might think from these videos, I'm not actually a social person. He's Phase three of the plan is the main event. And that is in about a month's time, as I said, we have got a big trip on the cards. Now I can't say anything just yet. And to be fair, it isn't even booked yet, but it is gonna be big. All of this preparation is for good reason because I'm gonna to attempt to film every single day of this trip. So hopefully all of this goes to plan and then there'll be a lot of content coming your way. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.